And now, CBS Radio brings you Ma Perkins. Hi, this is Dennis James with a tune that really brings back memories. <laughs> that sure does bring back memories, doesn't it? Well, here's something else to remember. For youthful regularity, you try Kellogg's All Brand, the whole brand cereal that relieves irregularity from lack of bulk. It's A double L hyphen B R A N. Kellogg's All Brand. And now for Ma Perkins. Well, there's lots to give thanks for today. All might be well with Charlie and Mary Lindstrom. They're moving east for Charlie's fine new job developing his invention. And things might go better for Dr. Valentine, too. But what gives Ma the greatest happiness is that Junior and Anushka and Anushka's mother are in town for Thanksgiving. Without further ado, let's join them. Dinner's not until 3 o'clock, but the family likes to gather early. And so we find Willie and his son Junior around 2 o'clock walking up the street toward Ma. Listen. Well, gee, Junior, that, that sounds just great. And this professor thinks you got talent for it? Well, that's what counts. He's my counselor. He's the one who follows your career in college and gives you advice. That's what he is, your advisor. And he really recommends a career in teaching, huh? <laughs> I can't help laughing, Junior. It's such a surprise that I should have a boy who wants to be a teacher. Nobody could ever teach me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could get my practice requirements working on your top. <laughs> no, 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 no. Work on your mother. With me, you'd flunk. <laughs> uh, tell me, what does Anushka think about it? Well, that's the best part. I don't know if we ever told you, Pops. Anushka might win the Gertrude Hawthorne Prize for the best woman student on the campus. Anushka's practically straight A. No kidding. Hmm? Is it a big prize? How much? Oh, it's not so much the cash. Only a thousand dollars. But the important part is... Only a thousand dollars? Your old man has to work like a dog for practically a year to make and keep a thousand dollars. Just listen to that kid. Only a thousand dollars. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I meant that the importance of the prize is worth even more. You can practically name your fellowship at any university in the world. And well, if Anushka wants to go into advanced research and I want to become a teacher, we might be able to work it out. <laughs> Me, Willie Fitz. I never got past the second year in high school. And I got a son who wants to be a college professor. And his wife is practicing to be a genius. <laughs> in what field does she plan to be a genius? International relations. And, of course, she already speaks three languages, and she's studying two more. You understand why it's so important to her, Pop? Her family is part Polish, part Bohemian. Now they're American citizens, they want to work for world peace. It, it, it's so thrilling. Julia, let me tell you what's thrilling. It's thrilling for a nobody like me to have a boy like you. I talk a lot, but let's face facts. You could send me over Niagara Falls in a barrel along with 10 million other guys like me and the world wouldn't miss us one speck. Today is Thanksgiving Day. And what I'm going to give thanks for is that I live to see it. There's no reason to sell yourself short, Pops. I always thought you were a pretty swell guy. Honest, Junior, you, 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 you really look back and you, and you think I gave you a square shake? Sure you did. I always liked the way you were so popular in town. From the time I was a little kid. People would say, that's Willie Fitz's kid, Willie and Evie's. Then everybody would smile. Uh -huh. Well, wait a minute. Why do they smile? I'm just as good as they are. Pops, you're the best. Well, here we are, Grandma's. Yeah. Uh, Junior, let's stand here and sniff. <laughs> Maybe we can sniff the turkey and the pumpkin pies away yeah. out here. <laughs> let's go in and get a real sniff. Uh, is this the Silver Dollar Saloon of Cocktail Service, please. <laughs> That ought to produce somebody. <laughs> hey, yes, only at the front door. All that is to the rear. Hi, this girl. And doggone it, you just get prettier all the time. Yes. And, and taller. Uh, ain't you reached your full growth yet? I'm wearing high heels. Oh. Let me take your coat, Father Fitz. Your young friend can give me his coat, too. Isn't she fresh, Pops? Come here, freshness. <laughs> Father Fitz, that's kind of cute. Well, while the two of you are doing that, I'll hang up my own coat. 
breathless as on your lips, cool from the windy day. I haven't seen you since 11 o'clock last night. There was a while there during the night when I didn't think about you. It was while I was sleeping. I only dreamed about you. For that, I will hang up your coat. Really? Did you bring... Oh, and Junior. <laughs> and he is bringing Mrs. Alex in the car? Yes, he is, ma'am. Oh, good. Well, Faye has just gone upstairs to see the children, and Tom went over to get Chef off. Decided to go for a little walk together to build up their appetites, they said. So there's nobody to keep you company, really. Unless you want to come back in the kitchen with me. Sure, Jimmy and Aspen tell me what to do, and the kids will be glad to do without me. <laughs> come on upstairs with me, Anushka. I got something in my pocket for the kids. All right. Uh, unless you leave me in the kitchen, Grandma. Not at all, dear. Um, uh, well, this is the greatest Thanksgiving of my life. He said I'd, I'd been a good father to him. He's going to be a college professor, Ma. Can, can, can you imagine, Ma, me, the father of a professor? <laughs> Friends, today is Thanksgiving Day, and the Staley folks, makers of famous Stay Puff laundry rinse, are saying goodbye to a good friend, Ma Perkins. Yes, after loyal sponsorship for a long time, today is the last day that Stay Puff will be able to sponsor this much-loved series because it goes off the air tomorrow. True to the traditions of Thanksgiving, we're thankful indeed that we've been able to share in bringing you this outstanding program for so long. We're grateful for the hospitality of our listeners. Through your radios, you welcome the Stay Puff story into your homes, and we know that hundreds of thousands of you are loyal Stay Puff users. We hope you'll continue to be. Yes, let us urge you to keep up your rewarding friendship with Stay Puff, America's largest selling laundry rinse and fabric softener. And now, goodbye, Ma Perkins. We're sorry to see you go. And to our good friends everywhere, remember S-T-A-P-U-F, Stay Puff. The Miracle Laundry. Now back to Ma and our story. Well, we rejoin Ma in the kitchen. Willie has indeed taken off his coat and put on an apron and made himself useful. And now he comes back into the kitchen and... He was walking up the street and he turned to me and he said, I always admired you, Father. <laughs> Only he didn't call me Father. He, he called me Pop. Well, there's no reason he shouldn't admire you, Willie. dear. You're a fine man. Uh... I'll tell you something, Mom. Deep down in my heart, this is the first time I ever believed it. I, I always thought I was a, a failure. Really? I, I've turned my hand to a million things, and I always come back to working in the lumberyard. I don't mind. I, I like working in the lumberyard, but it's plain I'll never set the world on fire. Oh. Only look what I've got now. Junior doing so fine in college. Junior thinking I treated him square. Junior marrying the nicest, the, 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 the sweetest, the, the smartest. Oh, Ma, there must be a God in heaven to give me such a blessing at this time of my life. Why, Willie. Oh, Willie, dear, you got tears in your eyes. Now stop that. But you deserve it, Willie. The most honest, most generous, most friendly. I'll tell you something that my own mother told me many years ago. We can know how we raised our children by who our children leave us for. And when my daughter Evie married you, Willie dear, Pa Perkins and I was content because we knew that she was leaving us for an upright man. And I have never changed my mind about that. Thank you, Mama. That's very nice. <laughs> and now it's my turn to say the same thing about my firstborn, mine and Evie's. Looks like we've got lots to give thanks for today, Mom. Oh, Willie, my, so much, so much. You know, there's some Thanksgivings when I feel most especially that we should give thanks for the things which didn't happen to us. Like we all been spared and like there's no war. But for all of us, there's so much more. My happy years stretching ahead. Junior and this wonderful girl who's going to be his wife. The wonderful ambitions they got. And you got another son coming along and the other little children. All right. You see the generations coming after you and I have been spared to see them, Willie, dear. The work that they'll do, which we've left undone. And whatever comes, I give thanks that I have been given such faith. Strong, young.
my hands at my grandson, Junior. The straight, fine girl he loves, and the son she'll have. I just don't know when I've been happier, Willie. When I woke up this morning, I began giving thanks, and I've been giving thanks straight through. Me too, Ma. I, I, up, I, I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. It's all so wonderful. The generations. Maybe it is, Denise. They have the hope, the glimpse, the turning world which turns as it did in the beginning, and the promise that we find in our children. It won't stop. Maybe that's the life eternal. Grandma, in the kitchen? Yes, dear. Oh, I think that's your mother and mine, Junior. Will you let them in? Oh, okay. Okay. The folks are right and come along, Willie. Uh, anything I can do, Grandma? You've done so much, child. Just let me look at your pretty face. You've done so much. <laughs> Perkins again to wish the happiest of Thanksgiving days to everyone who hears my voice and to your loved ones, be they near or far. To the brave men and women on the far outposts of the Republic. There in the new states across the sea and under the midnight sun, in the sky and on the ships, we give thanks to you and for you. And for you, our loyal listeners. Dear friends, this is the last Thanksgiving that I'll be speaking to you. Tomorrow will be our last broadcast. I'd like to hear from you. If you'll drop a card or a letter to Ma Perkins, Orleans, Massachusetts, I'll try to answer each and every one of you. Orleans, O-R-L-E-A-N-S, Ma Perkins, Orleans, Massachusetts. And I hope your day is as happy as ours. 